they have Johnny set up to sort of fake project Fiorella's interacting with him through body language when in fact she's looking down at the teleprompter. Whatever she uses, it's probably the same thing Kim Iverson got busted using. So I just want to say it's no coincidence because if you look at the study of communism or the study of socialism, like, right, you look at what it means. It's all about empowering workers. Like that's a, the, the base of it is empowering workers. Yeah. What what uh, Fred Hampton started preaching was workers of the world, international proletariat class against the empire need to unite. That's the whole basis between uh, of, of uh, specifically Marxist Leninism. Like it's about the workers. And so when when you had neo McCarthyism at that time, the labor movement was also attacked. And the leftists, any leftist, by the way, or anybody that wasn't even didn't even profess communism right we're talking about people who were artists who spoke against the empire and against the the rapid industrialization you have charlie chaplin and a lot of his silent films if you view them were very very Mm anti-imperialist and anti the technology of the day not because they were they didn't want to progress but because they saw the incoming of of that just crushing the yeah. workers and that and that is particularly what why this is telling because when you go and you become a citizen and i'll repeat this when you become yep. a citizen of the united states you i had to pledge to not um follow anything to do with communism, communism. yes and they can take that affiliated with the communist party yeah. you it's cannot be affiliated yeah. with the it's communist party I, 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 I ask you are you affiliated in any way with exactly. the communist party and i think That's we have to says. go back and uh, another movie yeah. i'm thinking about is good night and good luck there's no proof who these people are Fiorella claims to be from another country. I don't necessarily believe it. I don't believe it at all. Does anyone believe that Poikinen works for the nation? Poikinen's a big player in that network. They doctored the film in Echo Park. I was glory walking down the street. They get away with this because all media is rigged, including independent media. Later on, she's speaking Spanish without an accent. I hear no accent. There's no way she's from another country. Or prove it. Watch how they trigger themselves. Check out their body language when Johnny's talking about bullshit. They all seem on tilt and regrouping since I pointed out that they're reading from scripts. Johnny, what the The fuck? fuck? Me gente este mi loca? Yeah, La so, gente esta muy loca. I almost said it. La I gente mean, esta muy loca. So there you go. I mean, the biggest bullshit was that the 1% mandatory report wasn't ready. And uh, the, the article goes over that. And then just the last thing I'll just say is that uh, I got kicked out. From- Kim Iverson is off on some vacation to Mexico. Johnny comes back and now he's a third voice talking F face up in that top right corner to make it appear Fiorella is looking over at him and not at the script. There was something going on with Roar Media. I'm not going to include it. I'm actually done covering these people. I've removed them from the suggestions from uh, YouTube. Their names will no longer pop up in the search tab. I'll make this the last one. Those are COINTELPRO shells. Those are proverbial sewer rats working for the military industrial complex. You can see this for yourselves. Just check out the body language. Watch them self-trigger. Notice how they're all seemingly intoxicated. Because if you're living an unfulfilled, rigged life, you have no choice but to be bitter, jaded, into getting intoxicated, into lying into being dependent on that paycheck again and for doing this. You know, maybe during World War II it was patriotic to be an American and join up, fight Hitler, whatever. It's long past time. You got clowns like Graham Elwood showing up a few years ago. All these people showed up a few years ago. They're nowhere to be found before Bernie. Elwood supported war in Afghanistan. He was thanking those troops for protecting his freedom to fake as a comic. I'm paraphrasing. I'll leave it at that. That's the end. That's the final chapter of my self-caring about any of it. I'm going to quit cold turkey. I'm not going to click on any of their channels ever again. 
I'm not gonna quit video blogging, but I have decided, like, I quit chewing fingernails. Like, I've gotten a lot of things accomplished. You make lists. Write down what your goals and objectives are. For myself, I wrote, stop destroying my finger, my nails. I had one really bad one. It was very low on a thumb. Now all my nails are fairly long. Not too long. But I stopped chewing my nails. The stems I use that are safe, fun, and normal looking are pacing. I also have a basketball. It's a small plastic basketball with a net. It only cost a buck. It's fairly good considering that. I could go into details, but they don't seem relevant other than to point out that that is a stem. Cost a buck. It's on the wall. I can shoot at it. Somehow it's fairly close to basketball, how the ball hits the rim and stuff. And I said I wasn't going to go into details. So that's it. The main reason I'm checking in is to let anyone know that I am retiring as a medium gadfly pointing out that everything is rigged and fake. I'm no longer going to care about them. Them meaning everyone in every website. If I produce, it's going to be on my own terms and having nothing to do with negativity. I put that on my list. Avoid negativity. The thing is, when we're dead, not only are we not going to remember any of this, we'll not realize all that worrying and fear was pointless. Stuff either happens or it doesn't. I would probably put avoid negativity at the top of any list. And don't sell out. Just think of how you're not them. You're not getting paid to try to entrap, it looks like right wingers or perhaps in the middle from military, they're trying to entrap them. People with fluid worldviews in regards to right and left wing, I bet most people don't really think about it too much. Especially the people joining the military. So I imagine they're looking for people who are pro-gun from military with access to classified information. They're afraid of Snowdens and Mannings. They're afraid of Assange. They're obviously not afraid of us as individuals because they control the network. They control everything. They control everything. I just said that, so I said it again. But they do, and then they don't worry about it, any of us. I had perfect information on Brett Camberlin, yet I was the one who got smeared. That thing persisted for so long, it should have just ended. That guy Breitbart should have watched my back. He knew what was going on, and he did nothing to help me. It was sort of cosmic justice that Andrew Breitbart died. He was a pitiful person. He was a drug addict. He was a fat slob. He was COINTELPRO. He had people on his job who were verified COINTELPRO. Breitbart got some mysterious money that never got explained. It doesn't matter what anyone comes up with. It doesn't matter what you observe. They own the way that information is traveling. Nonviolent anarchy means to deny them. I haven't done a good enough job at that. I need to quit completely, yet to stay in this mode of speaking out. That's my plan. To avoid negativity, I am implementing a complete boycott on every show, on all of it. I haven't watched TYT in... I mean, I might have grabbed some clips to show it looked like Jank Ugar was on Benzo's. But I quit that. I quit these places years before these other, the disinfo shells come out and say they're against Lumiki Cons, they're against TYT. It's like, hello, whatever. That's old news. I'm getting comments at. I try to interact. It doesn't seem to happen that often. But when you most want your comments to remain, they're gone. So basically, it's obvious that this website is not safe for comments, that they're going to stay posted. I guess the key is what I just heard from Eric Fromm. One must accept a solitary life, yet speak out.
continue to speak out even though we're rejecting what they say is reality. No, we're the reality. Speaking of kindred spirits, the others are now dead to me. They don't exist. I could point out and prove how evil, how maggoty, is maggoty a word? It could be easily done. But how does one avoid negativity, yet go into a rigged fray to expose people? There seems to be no way to fix this system on the internet. There's no fairness to this. I proved they read Echo Park footage, yet there's no accountability. Why is pointing in getting away with claiming a work for the nation? How come no one ever covers the angle I came up with, that this is convolution, this is COINTELPRO? Why is no one asking these very obvious questions, that I am the only one who had the balls to do it? Okay, I'll stop there. I gotta edit this effort. That's it. That's the plan. I'm avoiding negativity. I'm gonna enjoy this while I'm still breathing. Great thing about autism is you cannot not be in the moment. You see it all. You see the shapes. The way life is set up will only make one bored, jaded, and sad. My plan is to not be those things. Okay, thanks for your time and consideration. Have nice nights. Truly. This has been a Tokyo Shemp lifestyle segment. That'll do it from the Tokyo Shemp News Network. Tokyo Shemp Network is an unpaid, independent, true greatness kind of show. How do you like them apples? A lot of them I have done that to me. Naomi Klein, yes. um, Norm Chomsky, yeah. Gloria Allwright. There's all these people that I, I look to. and Yeah. It's just like, really? They think it's legal to be COINTELPRO agents. That's exactly what's going on. It could be normal. You know, you may have stress, not sleep, um, get really angry. Uh, then you could have twitching or drink too much coffee, or cocaine, or E. Norm Chomsky, Norm Chomsky. I am not a career spook. 10500-ish. Stevie faking expressions. Joy staring at her. That's the creepiest part of their shows. They're just often staring at the other person. It's not necessarily anything but the oligarch and the wealthy are the ones who are going to select the person that's going to represent this country and put them in the presidency. I mean, Kamala Harris, really? You know, so that's... It's not necessarily anything but the oligarch and the wealthy are the ones who are going to select the person that's going to represent this country and put them in the presidency. I mean, Kamala Harris, really? You know... So that's, that's, that's where I'm at. They're not listening really closely to what they're saying. They're doing what they can to get through the shift. Myself, I have no, I don't know when I'm ending up doing these. I'm an internet addict. I'm an aspen. I get by on just the basics. And I'm happy with that. I can deal with that. Norm Chomsky, Norm Chomsky. I am not a career spook. I am not a career spook. It could be normal. You know, you may have stress, not sleep, um, get really angry. Uh, then you could have twitching. Or drink too much coffee, or cocaine, or E. Norm Chomsky. Having trouble wrapping my mind around the phrase Smith Munt. But that stuff. The legalization of propaganda. 